Today is National Caregivers Day, a day to show your appreciation for the thousands who care for people with health conditions and disabilities. But on this day of special recognition, many also recognize there's a problem that's affecting assisted living facilities and nursing homes across Wisconsin. A new workforce study found a serious shortage of caregivers, and as NBC 26's Eric Crest reports, it's projected to get worse. Providing independence for folks with developmental disabilities and special needs is Agape of Appleton's mission. And it's something that caregiver and case manager Sarah Hippert says requires a lot of work these days. The team that I have here is amazing because they are constantly staying longer, coming in early, um, just to fill for the cares that are needed in the house. But the shortage of caregivers across Wisconsin and even the country is forcing many in this line of work to their limits. It's harder to find people that have that want to do what we do. According to a 2020 long term care workforce study, it's been determined that the caregiver profession is in a state of crisis, something Lisa Pugh, a part of Governor Evers task force on caregiving, understands. We are going to need another 20,000 workers within the next five years and we simply don't have the people. The workforce study found that nearly 10,000 caregivers have left the profession in the last year and that today one in four caregiver jobs aren't being filled. A concern for Harriet Redman and her husband who care for their disabled son. It's scary because then we depend on ourselves and my husband and I are aging. The real problem is that the problem could get worse as the percentage of people 85 or older is expected to increase over 100% in the next 20 years. Something caregivers like Hippert say hopefully convinces more people to give the oftentimes rewarding profession a go. When you see their smile or when they all of a sudden get it, it just kind of brings a joy across you and you, you can't replace that. In Appleton, Eric Crest, NBC 26. National Caregivers Day was created about five years ago to recognize the hard work of both paid and unpaid caregivers. It's held on the third Friday of February. At the Fox Valley Memory Project in Menasha, they held an open house today to showcase their MindWorks program, which helps those suffering from memory loss and dementia. It also gives caregivers six hours of respite time per week. Executive Director Mike Rorkast says there are many ways to show your appreciation on this National Caregivers Day. And so I would really challenge people today to ask how the caregivers doing, because they, I think, will say, thank you for asking. I feel better because somebody recognized that what I'm going through is equally hard. Other suggestions include writing a letter, expressing your gratitude, giving a gift like flowers, offering to help with duties, or just simply saying thank you.